Welcome to Sage Pastel Payroll's Tax Directive Changes of the 2022 Update 2 video. Prior to 2022 Update 2, there were only three Tax Directive fields on the Tax tab of the Master Files. If you have processed any tax directive numbers in these fields, they will be carried over to the tax numbers pop-up window in 2022 Update 2. In 2022 Update 2 and later, you will now have an Income Tax Directive Number field and a Tax Directive Numbers button that will create a pop-up screen. If you have a tax method that requires a directive, the directive number will need to be entered in the Income Tax Directive Number field. It is important to note that all directives that were processed prior to 2022 Update 2 will be available in the Tax Directive screen. However, the directive number that was in the Directive Line 1 prior to the update will also show in the Income Tax Directive Number field. You will need to remove it either from the Income Tax Directive Number or from the Tax Directive screen, depending on what the Tax Directive Number was for. For this employee, the tax method is set to average, so the directives that were processed will probably be for lump sums. You will need to enter the issue date, select an income source code from the drop-down, and enter the amount in the directive value field of the tax directive window. Since in this scenario the tax method is not affected by a tax directive, you will have to remove the number from the Income Tax Directive Number field and leave this field empty. If you have a tax method that requires a tax directive, then you will need to make sure that the correct Income Tax Directive Number is entered in the Income Tax Directive Number field. The system would have transferred the directive number from Directive Line 1 in the old update directly into the Income Tax Directive Number field. You will need to check that this is the correct directive number that goes along with the tax method. If it isn't, you will need to type in the correct tax directive number. Then, click on the Tax Directive button and remove the directive number from the window that you have typed into the Income Tax Directive Number field. Fill in the other information for any remaining tax directives that are linked to lump sums, then press OK on the Tax Directive screen. If you have a tax directive number that needs to be processed in September or October, we advise that you complete your biannual submission before entering these tax directives. View our tax directive video in the description box below for more details. Take note of our summary on this video. If you are unsure whether your tax directive is linked to a tax method or to a lump sum payment, we advise that you reach out to your tax practitioner for further information. Thank you for watching our video. 
reach out to us on our self-help platforms.